Hi everyone, Muriel here with a Christmas treat I would like to share with you. So I created these um, gift bags to house these dill pretzels that I made. Now dill pretzels have been around for a long time. The first time I experienced them was about two years ago. My neighbor bought some over and I thought they were fantastic. She didn't call them dill pretzels. They called them something else and they were so seasoned and so delicious. So um, I've always kept that recipe. And then I believe last year or a year ago, I stumbled on a Christmas treat tutorial, packaging tutorial that Arlene made over on my Butterfly Kisses 12. And she makes these for the holiday and it's such a good idea, especially someone like me who loves salt crunchy versus chocolate sweet. So I just wanted to show you how I completed these packaging. I made 10 bags. I'm taking them to work tomorrow. I'm also going to be giving them to my neighbors. And I just wanted to show you some of the things that I used in the packaging. Um, first of all, the ingredients. You can find those if you go on the website. If you just go on YouTube and Google dill pretzels, you will find a recipe. And then do like I did, change it how you would like it. So here's some of the things that I used. Um, the pretzels, of course, and I don't skim on the pretzels. I only use the rolled gold pretzels. The good brand, not the 99 cent store or the big lot. You know, you want to start with good product. And then I'm using the Oval Redenbacher Popping and Topping Buttery Flavored Oil. And of course the um, ranch salad dressing and seasoning mix. And to that you add of course your dill and your garlic powder. Okay, one is one teaspoon, one is a teaspoon. You can you can get the recipe, like I said, online. So that's what you're gonna mix in a large Ziploc bag. And you're going to um, seal it tightly and then you're going to toss it every time you pass it. So every time me and my daughter would walk in the kitchen, I'd say, turn the bag over, turn the bag over. And I let it, and I kind of do that, and I let it sit overnight because the oil will absorb into the pretzel. Somebody said yesterday, oh, it seemed like it would be oily and wet. Not at all. The oil soaks up inside the pretzels with the seasoning, and these are just delicious. So once you do that, then you just bag it up. And these are um, some bags that I use for my cards. They're by, um, I've gotten these from uh, MB Treasurista. Um, she has a website, I believe it's on Zibit. And um, I just fold them over. I created these uh, toppers. And again, you can find these over on Arlene's channel on how she made them. However, her measurements are reflective of the size bag that she used. So be mindful of that. So this bag here I used was a little bit shorter, a little bit um smaller so I had to adjust my toppers for that but the papers that I'm using are from the lost and found Christmas by my mind's eye okay this is a paper pad that goes back to oh I don't know 2013 maybe okay so I'm using that and the glitter that is between the chip the cardstock and the label is from this pack here I picked this up at Michael's one day. Actually, I picked up a couple of them because the glitter is not, um, you know, it doesn't come off. And there's every color under the sun. So all of my gold is gone. So I'm glad I got another two packs of those. And then the labels that I'm using are the label and flourish. This one here. And the label ornate number four. That one there. So I basically just cut those out. I went on the computer and I created some little, you know, greeting from my house to yours. Happy holidays, the Coop House. And I bagged these pretzel up and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're going to love them. So I highly recommend if you're looking for a nice treat to share with your neighbors, your coworkers, your friends and family, that you try making the dill pretzels. I think you will be satisfied. And I'll also put the link down below to Arlene's channel where she shows you how she prepares them. And um, that's where the idea comes from. And this is another thing that I want to incorporate into my um, month of December giving is that I share a homemade treat. Um, so for Thanksgiving, I have the Christmas tags that I passed out, which was a hit. So I will definitely pick that up next year. And uh, next year, I will still do the dill pretzels, but I will probably add another treat to it. 
I just have a whole year to figure out what that will be. So thank you again for watching and go Hawks. Talk to you guys soon. Bye now.